I need a drink for this. I got a drink. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to another vlog. My name is Trinity. If you're new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Happy Monday, first of all. I need to get my life together. Your girl's in shambles, like for real. I really need some structure. I need a routine because I have not been getting anything done. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of myself. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. So, on today's agenda, we have clean up because my kitchen my kitchen first of all this is the living room the living room don't look too bad usually usually the living room is the problem but the kitchen girl like what i look like i don't even care about my living space for real and this is the only room that looks like this right now i don't know what all this is it's like some content creator stuff that i just like threw up there last night maybe. And then the sink okay my sink is really small so it's really not as much as it looks like I promise. I got the candles burning because like I needed some aromatherapy going on in here. Um, this stuff I just cleaned out my refrigerator, so that stuff that just needs to be thrown away, and then that's some of the stuff that I'm about to cook soon. But yeah, a mess nonetheless. Um, <laughs> here's Jax. Uh, say hello, people. Say I love my mommy. Yeah, so I gotta clean up. I have to cook. I'm gonna make turkey wings, cabbage, oh my gosh. Pasta salad, cornbread. That should last me for like two days cause your girl has not been eating. Can you relax, please? I need to go to the gym today. I need to get back in the gym. If y'all been here for a while, y'all know, I have been trying to be consistent with the gym and I just, it's so hard and it wasn't that hard a while ago like before i had jacks i was going consistently like three to five times a week for real like i was real consistent the results showed the body was giving but ever since i had him it's been so hard for me to like figure out a consistent schedule or just go in my free time even when i'm tired because the problem is like as a parent when you have your kid you're drained you're always busy moving doing stuff and then when you have free time you're so tired you don't want to do anything so i'm like constantly battling between like when i'm free do i do the things that i've been wanting to do or do i rest because i feel like i'm about to just crash at any moment basically in order for me to do all these things i need to create structure in my life and i know i talked about this in an older video but i didn't stick to it and it has been getting me nowhere so today i made a to-do list i made like i picked out like time frames for each thing just so i can make sure i get stuff done and that i'm giving myself enough time to get everything done mm, we gonna see how this goes y'all but i really need to get my life back together I need to get my life back. I need to take my life back because you stole it. You stole it. Yeah, let's start. We about to start right now. Your girl cleaned her kitchen. It's so clean. So now I'm about to take a shower. 
Jax is eating his little lunch. About to take a shower and get myself in order. All right, I am fresh out the shower, laced with baby powder. Putting on my body oil. So, as soon as I get out the shower, I use this. Why is it like, yeah, I use this. It's like, it's cocoa butter oil. So I put that on my body, it's still a little damp. And then I put my lotion on top of this. So I cleaned up. Um, I'm about to wash my face so y'all can see my little skincare routine. So for the skincare, I probably should not have put oil on my hands and then wash my face, but whatever. Jax is screaming. Baby just got a little bath. Lotion, lotion, lotion. making turkey wings. I cleaned my turkey wings, put all my seasonings on here, and now I'm gonna pan sear them. So I usually don't pan sear and then put in the um in the crock pot. I usually either put them in the oven or put them in the crock pot. Chopped up some green peppers and onions and pan sear these first. Then I'm going to add the you know what I'm just gonna show y'all. Jax. <laughs> this guy. Oh, what he's doing. These are the last two. So I pan sear them on both sides. So when this is done, I'm gonna put them in a the crock pot and then I'm gonna put the green peppers and onions in here. I'm about to make my pasta salad. I'm cleaning my tomato and cucumber. So, update. I have not been sticking to my schedule today as far as like the times that I set aside to do everything, but I've been getting everything done and that's the most important thing, right? Because my issue is I'll have a to-do list and I end up doing other stuff. Like, let's say my to-do list is make a TikTok, cook, go to the gym. Because I don't have time set aside for each thing to make sure I get each thing done, 
I will end up doing a whole bunch of other stuff. I'll like clean up and that won't even be on the list. Taking a nap. Um, I don't know, just a bunch of random stuff. Going to stores that I was not supposed to go to. Like I just be letting myself get distracted very easily. So yeah, today I was very determined to stick to everything that was on my to-do list. Even if I didn't do it in the order that I, I was gonna do it or even if I didn't, you know, do it at the time that I said I was gonna do it. The most important thing is getting it done. And I'm very proud of myself. I actually saw something the other day that said that discipline is a form of self-love and it definitely is. Like I don't even need, um, I don't need like motivation. I need discipline because on the days where I don't have motivation, I have to learn how to push through that. Like, cause when I'm feeling really motivated, it's easy for me to do everything. And I know that's probably the case with everyone, but it's so easy to do stuff when you're motivated, but you're not gonna be motivated every day. And sometimes I have motivation to do stuff, but that motivation comes at the wrong time. Like it'll come at a time where like, for example, if I have motivation to go to the gym, I'll get motivation to go to the gym when I have Jax. I can't go to the gym with Jax. So it's like, it comes at the wrong time. So I have to be disciplined enough to be like, okay, I'm motivated in this moment. Let me make sure I remember how I felt in this moment when I'm free. I need to be disciplined enough to get up and take my tail to the gym when I'm free and not take no nap. Now, sometimes I'm gonna take a nap because that's self-care, but not all the time. Like I said in another video, I think this was like right before 2023 started, but I can literally smell the success. I can taste it. I can see it. Like I can see it on the horizon. Waving the knife in the air is crazy. I literally just have to do all the things that I know I need to do to get to those goals like to actually achieve those goals i know that if i stay consistent and i stay disciplined i'm gonna get to where i need to be in the next i'm gonna say 12 months it's probably gonna be less than that honestly but yeah the next 12 months i'm gonna be there for sure hello why do i look so bright it is 5 46 p.m Jax is asleep y'all his usual nap time is one o'clock he didn't go to sleep till like 4.30. But, um, I don't care what time he went to sleep. I'm waking him up at 6.15 because he's going to my mother's house and I'm going to the gym. So I'm about to put my little hat on, just put my hair on a little, little bun. I'm so mad because I have not straightened my hair in like a week and some change now because I haven't been going to the gym. And I just know that when I leave the gym today, my hair is going to be like wet. <sighs> I'm kind of excited to get back in the gym today. I almost talked myself out of going. I almost was like, okay, Jack just went to sleep. Maybe I should just let him sleep for as long as he wants. And then just don't take him to my mom and don't go to the gym. But no, I'm going to the gym. Because it's day one of creating structure and creating a routine and making to-do lists and sticking to them. I'm not about to mess up on day one. Let me show y'all my planner that my baby daddy got me for Christmas. Because that is what has been keeping me on track and keeping me like motivated and inspired. This is the planner. It's by Perfect Planner Company. I'll put the website below. Or actually, it's in my Amazon storefront. So, yeah, that's linked below. Entrepreneur Edition. Okay, so this is... Um, where you can write down your weekly routine, like stuff that just is recurring, I guess. I don't have a set routine yet. So this is the financial overview. You can write your home expenses, car expenses, health and security, and then over here, personal expenses, business expenses, and annual renewal reminders. Okay, so I don't know how to show y'all um, everything in the planner without showing y'all what I wrote. My goal was to make a TikTok of the planner before I started writing in it. That's why I took so long writing in it. It took me like a week or two because I was just so determined to make a TikTok and make a reel or whatever of the planner. And I just could not get it right. Like it just, it didn't look right. 
the way that I was recording it. So, yeah. one of my favorite things about the planner is that it has this little section. There's a section that asks you, like, what is your personal why? What is your business why? What is your commitment and promise to yourself? Who is your ideal client and customer? These are all things that I always have to keep in mind in order to, like, keep pushing through everything that I'm doing. The personal why, I didn't really know the difference between a personal why and a business why, but the personal why, it says it's the driving force behind your business, what makes you want to succeed, and your business why, the passion behind your business, why do you love what you do? Those are things that I never really even thought about until I got this. And when I was writing it one night, I just got like so emotional because, like I said, never thought about it. But it just, it motivated me and reminded me of like why I subconsciously do a lot of things that I do. Then there's like a section for you to review last year. So things that you learned in 2022, things you're looking forward to achieving in the next year. There's a year overview. So you can write out your goals for the year. What are your ultimate life goals? What you will achieve in quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, at the end of the year. Then there's a social media overview section where I decided to write down the videos that are going out each week and what I'm recording each week. So I didn't get a chance to finish this last night. I just started it. So I wrote down the ideas that I had. Then I planned out the days that each one is going to go out. And then um, probably tonight when I get back home from the gym, I'm going to write down like the days that I'm going to record each video. And then we get into the actual weeks. So these are some of my content ideas for this week. And then here I just write out my um, to-do list each day, basically. So that planner has been super helpful. My turkey wings are done. Yo, I made five. I already ate two before they were even like, I mean, they were done. But I just put the last three in the oven so that they could like brown a little bit. Woo! They look so good. Yo, oh my gosh. Wait, let me get my... Do y'all see how good these look? Like, I cannot. So I did not make my cabbage because I didn't feel like it. But I got some broccoli, a little steamed fresh bag that I'm just gonna throw in the microwave when I get home. And yeah, made my pasta salad. But honestly, I might not eat the pasta salad with this. I might save that for like lunch throughout the week and just make some rice. So I'm gonna have the turkey bang, the rice, and some broccoli. But um, I'm about to charge my phone and stuff real quick and my AirPods so I can go to the gym. And then I'm going to wake Jax up. What time is it? It's 5.56. So I got about 20 minutes. I'm going to wake Jax up in 20 minutes, get him dressed, go to my mom's, and I'll talk to y'all when I get in the car. Y'all, the devil is busy. I tried to go to the gym and it was packed. I go to Planet Fitness because I'm not, the way my anxiety is set up, I can't go to LA Fitness. But yeah, it was packed. I don't understand why they got 5,000 treadmills and like one of each machine. It's just so dumb. I mean, I guess it makes sense for the type of gym that they're trying to be like for beginners or whatever. But that is such an inconvenience. And this is why I prefer to go in the morning. So, I'm at my apartment gym. Well, I'm at my apartment. I'm about to go in my apartment gym and just work out in there. So, yeah. Good morning. Day two of creating structure in my life. It is Tuesday. I had two clients this morning. I dropped Jax off. 
Went to work, did my two little clients, and it is 1.30 p.m. I'm at the gym. So, my goal is to be in here from 1.30 to 2.30. I'm going to try to stay the whole hour because sometimes I be here like 45 minutes. I'm going to really try to stay the whole hour, take my time. And today is my sister's birthday. She's turning 13. So, we're going out to Cheesecake Factory tonight at 6. So, I'm going to be in here from 1.30 to 2.30. Then I'm going to go home, edit. I have to go buy a new laptop charger because I have not been able to find mine. I'm so irritated because I know it's going to be like $80. I'm not going to record in the gym today just because I recorded yesterday. So, yeah. But basically, yesterday, I didn't go that hard because I hadn't been in the gym in a while. So, I didn't want to overdo it. I was a little scared. I'm not going to lie. But I woke up this morning and I felt fine. Like, I like waking up the next day and being sore AF, especially like when I'm just starting in the gym. So I feel like I didn't do enough. I'm about to go in here and really kill myself. I'll update y'all when I leave the gym. Your girl is about to install her clippings. Y'all, it's 425. I have not edited yet. All I did eat and take a shower i'm gonna show y'all how i get my little ponytail with my clippings people always ask me if i have micro links or tape ins no girl it's clippings so i start off by first cutting it out so i start off by just sectioning off the perimeter of my hair and I don't do that much, just enough to really cover the tricks. So, all the way around. And I don't make it neat, I just do it, pretty much. And then, the middle part, I put in... So, sometimes I put it in a ponytail, and sometimes I put it in a bun. Lately, I've been just putting it in a little small bun, because... I noticed that when I do the ponytail, sometimes the hair, like this ponytail, will show through the clippings, and I hate that. All right, I'm gonna put my real hair in the ponytail. I mean, um, I'm gonna put my real hair in the bun. So I got this little bun right here. Just wrap these little hairs around. Let me see if I can find a rubber band. I use a little rubber band just to make a tiny bun. And now, you know what? I didn't dry shampoo my hair about four times since the last time I washed it. I need to just wash it. But I don't feel like it. So, I'm going to take my clip-ins. I have nine clip-ins total. I start with the twos, then I do the threes, and I do the fours. So, basically, I start, like, right at the ponytail. I mean, right at the little bun. And I'll just clip it onto my hair. So, once I do... The one on top, then I flip it and I do the bottom. So I'm basically making like a little circle. I'm making multiple circles going around the ponytail. And I'm going to try not to make them hella tight. Because I've been giving myself a headache with these daggone things. And then I'm going to take a three. And I'm not putting them... Well, in the on the top, I'm putting them kind of close together. Because I want the top to be real full. But like when I flip it and do the bottom, I don't make it that tight. I mean, I don't make it that close. Because the bottom is like hidden. So it doesn't really matter if it's not super full. But I want most of them to go at the top. I got this three and one more. Um... So I'm just keep doing this and yeah. All right, this is the last one. This is a four and this is my thickest one too. So I always like to put this at the very top. Okay. 
all right so it looks like this and i just blended my hair into the clippings now i'm just going to take my hot comb and just go over like the edges just because they puffed up a little from when i was in the gym i just want that to be real sleek i know y'all see Maybe y'all see all that um, smoke. Yeah. I'll make some of them go down because I don't like when it looks like perfectly slicked back. I feel like then it just looks like a fake ponytail. But, oh shoot, I forgot to do the back. I'll just do a couple little pieces in the back. You know the little, little kitchen area. I'm just gonna comb it back into a pony and that is pretty much it girl and I'm just gonna put it in a little ponytail try not to make the ponytail real tight that's what be giving me a headache that's pretty much it and I pull my little random pieces down because I like my pony to look messy little hairs right here yeah it's so cute like this is my new favorite hairstyle i absolutely love this little ponytail i like the bun too when i do the bun because i've been making it real high and real messy it'd be real cute but this is so cute so i just have on can i even show you i have on this black bodysuit from zara and these little boyfriend jeans i think these are from zara too but they're like distressed. I'm gonna see if I can show y'all in there. Yes, I got my camera on this tripod, but the jeans are distressed. Have a little rips. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Real cute. So I'm just about to edit until it's time for me to go. It is. Uh, what time is it? It is. 436. I'm gonna leave at 5:30. So I got about an hour to edit. I'll holler at y'all later. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi guys. Hey. Lucky always camera ready. Too small. Thanks for me. Hey y'all. I'm so mad my camera died when I was in the restaurant. Of course, he's home. Yeah, my camera died when I was in the restaurant. Ugh, I was so irritated. But luckily I got to get like a little, little small clip of my people for real. I put backup batteries in the wrong purse, like a dummy. I'm about to give Jax a bath. Where's my life? I'm about to give Jax a bath and then we're going to bed. So today is nice and short and sweet and to the point. I don't even know what's going on tomorrow. I have to work tomorrow, like all day. So work and editing is the only thing that's on my schedule for tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll just come back Thursday. I don't know. We'll see. I will see y'all later. Say bye-bye. Papi. Give him a kiss. Mm -hmm. Aww. 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 Come on, give mommy a kiss. You give mommy a kiss? Oh, no, not them. Mm. Give mommy a kiss. Mm. <laughs> give me a kiss. Give mommy a kiss. Mm. Thank you. One syrup is crazy. Like what? Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Your girl is at work. I had to push my client back. Her appointment was at 10. I had to push it back to 10 30 because I ain't had no water in my building this morning. The freaking pipes froze. This is the second time this winter. I'm so ready for winter to be over. Like, what? I'm paying you all this money. 
I mean, I know they can't control it, but still, like, I hate it here. I have two clients, one at 11.30. No, I have a client at 10.30, one at 11.30. And then I got a long break from freaking, um, like, 12.45 to, like, 4 o'clock, 4.30. But, yeah, it's 10.24 now, so I'm about to go in. I think it's my client that just pulled up. Is the camera on? Yup. Yeah. Girl. You know what bothers me? I would've got my money the same day. No. What bank you bank with? I actually bought some oat milk from um, Walmart the other day. Hey, y'all. Beyonce. Girl, BFFR Beyonce, BFFR. She's playing. I didn't even look at the prices. I didn't even look at the ticket prices, honestly. I didn't. But first of all, sis, it's February 1st. Why are the tickets going on sale February 6th? You know we don't have no money. Like, she she just, she don't care. She's inconsiderate. I love my girl. But I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming because she just charged these niggas 24 mil in Dubai. What did y'all expect? What do we expect? Pissed about it. And I'll tell you one thing. If somebody don't give me no tickets to this concert, wings are getting clipped. Hello, guys. It is Thursday, um, 2.34 p.m. So I have a late start with this vlog today. But I just left the gym. Three days complete. Shout out to your girl. Today was my third day in the gym. As y'all know, I'm doing three days a week. So, very proud of myself for that. And I went hard again today. Because like I told y'all, the first day, I was just being so scary. I just took it real easy and it just was not giving. I'm going to Target because I need some type of chicken or something. I made the turkey wings the other day, as y'all know, they are gone, but I still have some sides, so I'm just going to get some chicken. I'm looking for these little nuggets that Asia posted on her Instagram story one day. I'll include the picture right here, but yeah, anyway, let me put my hoodie on because like I said, it just came out the gym. I've been feeling so good this week because I've been getting stuff done. One day, I'm going to share with y'all the struggles the struggles of my life currently but I think I'm gonna wait until it's all over I'm gonna wait till I'm out of it to really talk about it cuz that's a part of the reason why I'm just trying to get some structure cuz I got a whole lot of stuff that I need to take care of that I just been letting pile up and it's overwhelming me I made a TikTok one day talking about how it's important to really take the small steps that lead to the big thing. Like, we like to make these big goals and we don't even know what to do to get there. So we get so overwhelmed. And because we're just looking at that big picture, we end up literally doing nothing. So with this big thing that has been like heavy on me for a long time, I have not found out the steps that I need to take to tackle that. I be feeling like I'm just drowning because... I'm always focusing on that big thing. So that was my little rant. Now let's go on Target. All right, change of plans. We're going to Wegmans because Target does not have those nuggets. Every time I come here, I'm tempted to get some sushi, but I'm not going to go today. It's giving I'm new here. Like, I don't know where I'm going. And I used to do Instacart and Wegmans. 
So you would think I would know where everything is. Found them. These. So my friend tried the spicy ones. I'm just gonna get the regular ones. These. So we're gonna try these. All right. So these are the nuggets. They're by the brand Just Bear. The lightly breaded chicken breast bites. Let me wash my hands because I definitely just came from the gym. Don't mind all the stuff that's on the stove. I'll put it away in a second. See, I love when the stuff got the air fryer instructions because y'all know I'm about to use the air fryer. Preheat air fryer to 350, place frozen chicken pieces in basket in a single layer, air fry for eight. Eight minutes is what I love to hear. But tomorrow I'm going out. So y'all will see me like really do my makeup tomorrow. I'll do like a little get ready with me vlog style. So y'all can see that. Y'all can see what I'm wearing, how I do my hair. I don't know how I'm gonna do my hair. I think I have a short day tomorrow and I'm not going out until 7.30. Uh, well, short day as far as work. So I might wash my hair while I'm at the shop and do something different because I'm tired of the little ponytail, honestly. I have other clippings too. I have the straight ones, but they're like kinky straight. So I might try to figure out something to do with those. And then I also have like this kinky curly type clippings. Um, I don't know. I'll figure that out tonight, I guess. Yeah. So that's how today and tomorrow is going to go. This is probably going to be a long vlog, but I'm tired of just doing like little 10 minute vlogs. I know y'all like to sit down videos. I know y'all like to make up videos, but you know trying to be a little versatile here and I feel like I had a good amount going on and I also feel like I never do like a full week for my vlogs it's always like a weekend or a day in the life or like three days never a full week so this one's going to be Monday till Saturday maybe I might end it tomorrow because I got a lot of stuff in this vlog already we'll see I'm gonna take a shower while those are in the air fryer because Kill two birds with one stone. Yeah. All right, so this is what they look like fresh out the air fryer. Well, in the air fryer, but they're done. <sighs> okay. Let's see. I didn't make the fries. I'm eating them with pasta salad. Because I ain't feel like it. Hmm. I'm about to... upload this makeup video there's really nothing to record honestly unless y'all want to see me sitting on my couch working so bye bye because i'm already at 39 yeah because it'll be cheaper to go to dust a little bit i'm just gonna stay around it and get the drink Everybody, this is Sydney Shadon. Please do not book with her. She's the worst hair stylist in Baltimore. I am. Peace out. My keypad go to the go to the center button and then use the outer buttons that look like arrows all right I gotta hang up let me see if all right. this you can sit your stuff behind the door and then uh, Trinity that's a Cherie Cherie that's nice Hi, to meet you good morning guys today is Friday it's 11.33, my client is at 12. Okay, first off, let me start off and say I washed and straightened my hair. I have a little date tonight. I'm going to put in my straight clippings. But I just wanted to get it out of the way since I had a little time before my first client because I don't want to be rushing later. I'm so annoyed. Something is wrong with my car. 
I don't know what it is. I don't know how much it's going to be. Like, I'm just... I could really cry right now. But I'm not going to because I'm not trying. I'm not going to be crying on camera. Like, that's weird. But I really just feel like I cannot win. Like, it's always something. It's really always something. My life is just in shambles. Like, I don't want to claim that, but that's really what it feels like. But I'm about to finish eating my lunch and then I'll check in with y'all when I get home later when I'm getting dressed for my little date. Pray for me. Okay. Hey y'all. It's Saturday. The next day. My hair is like really staticky right now. But so I know I told y'all yesterday. After I told y'all about my car, I told y'all that I was going to come home and record a little get ready with me to put at the end of this vlog since I was going on a date. Yeah, so shortly after that, I realized that my car really just was not working. Like, it would turn on, but it was not trying to get up. Like, I would hit the gas and it wouldn't do anything. So, yeah. So... We ended up having to take my car to the dealership. And mind you, yesterday was Friday. My dealership is always like booked when it comes to appointments. It's so hard to get an appointment with them. They told me that they weren't going to be able to look at the car. They were like, yeah, you can bring it here, but we're not going to be able to look at it until next week. She said one day next week. So I'm like, what the heck is one day next week? Like that could be Monday. That could be Friday. Like, what is that? I got stuff to do. So, she said maybe like Wednesday or Thursday. And I'm just like, yo. Because I was just telling y'all how I really feel like I'm just drowning in life. And then this happens. So, I was really upset. And I told y'all I was not going to cry on camera. But as soon as I turned the camera off, I bust out in tears. So, basically my car is sitting there and it's going to be there for about a week. And I'm hoping and praying that it's nothing crazy and that it's not going to be hella money because my car is brand new. Like, it's a 2020. I got it fresh off the lots, two miles on it, and those two miles came from me test driving it. So it was brand new. Like, there's no reason why my car should just not be working. Oh, I told you I was going to record the get ready with me last night while I got ready for my date, but I ended up not even going on the date. So... I didn't even do anything last night, really. My son's dad picked me up from work, brought me home, and I didn't do anything. He was like, you can come out with me, and he was going out with one of his friends. He's like, you can come out with us. And I was just like, I don't even feel like it. Like, I, I don't even feel like it. I was annoyed. And I just wanted to sit in the house. So I watched You People. That was really good. Really good movie. It was funny. I enjoyed it. Then I randomly decided at like 9 o'clock p.m. that I was going to record some content. So originally I was like, okay, well, even though I'm not going on the date, that doesn't mean that I can't still do a little get ready with me. Just do my makeup, do my hair. And then I'll just like record some TikToks or whatever. So, and I was also thinking like, okay, if I don't, if I don't want to sit down and record a whole video, then I can at least edit a video, edit this vlog, like start editing this vlog. So I go looking for the camera and I realized that I left my bag in his car and my bag had my camera and my laptop in it. So I couldn't even edit the vlog if I wanted to, I couldn't do anything. So then I was just like, all right, you know what? I'm going to just do my makeup, record me doing my makeup on TikTok, and just let that, you know, let that be a TikTok. So I did that, and I was actually very happy that I did. I didn't post it yet. Well, by the time y'all see this, it'll probably be up. And yeah, that's how my night went. And then this morning, my mom was my first client, so she picked me up. And we went to the shop, I did her lashes, and she had my stepdad pick her up from the shop. 
so that I could hold her car. So she's letting me use her car until Monday. And honestly, I'm not even going anywhere. Well, tomorrow I'm gonna go to church. At first I was like, I'm not even gonna go to church, but I'm gonna go because I need a word in my life at this point. So, you girls in shambles. But you know, honestly, like I was so upset. Like I said, as soon as I, as soon as I turned the camera off, when I was talking to y'all last yesterday, I just started crying. But as the day went on, I was just like, you know what? Me being upset and crying and just being miserable is not going to do anything. Like, this is literally not going to help my situation at all. So I just need to accept the fact that there's something wrong with my car. Hopefully it's nothing crazy because like I said, the car is brand new. But still, like the fact that I don't have my own car is crazy to me. I want to drive my car. I don't want to have to drive somebody else's car because I got my mom's car now, but when she got to go to work on Monday, what am I going to do? It's just so crazy how this vlog is all about me getting my life together and creating structure, creating routines and just getting, getting my stuff in order. And then something crazy like that happens. So I'm about to do my makeup. Um, I'm gonna make a few TikToks. I got a few in mind that I wanna make. I'm about to go get my makeup. My life is a series of unfortunate events. Oh boy, Lord. Y'all, when I tell y'all, my life is just so funny. So, when y'all just saw me walking in the hallway, I was about to leave and go to my mom's because there was a fire in my building. I need a drink for this. I got a drink. <laughs> Y'all, first of all, I was the one who called the leasing office and told them like, I smell fire, I see smoke, no smoke detectors are going off. No fire alarms are going off. I don't know what's happening, but y'all need to figure something out. So the girl was like, oh, we about to call the fire department right now. They called the fire department. Fire department gets here in five minutes. I'm like, yeah, I got to get out of here. Cause I'm not even playing with these niggas. So the fire, the first firefighter who came in, he was black. He was knocking on all the doors. So when he gets to me, I'm like, so we leaving? Like what, what's going on? He was like, yeah, y'all got to go. Cause it's a fire up here somewhere, but we don't know where it is. So I'm on the phone with my mom. And she's laughing at me because I'm packing my stuff. Like, and I'm taking my makeup, I'm taking my camera, my tripod, my laptop. Whatever else y'all want to burn up, burn it up. But I, I'm going to record this video. <laughs> oh, and it wouldn't have been funny if, like, something really happened. But, you know, because everybody's okay, I can laugh about it now. Yeah, so I caught up with the guy. The guy who telling everybody to get out. I caught up with him. Um, Cause I, I actually ended up sitting outside. I was leaving to go to my mom's, and um, I ended up just sitting outside, just watching, cause it was like hella fire trucks or whatever. Cause I could see the balcony that they were on. I'm like, that's the apartment that's across from me. So I asked one of the firefighters, like, okay, like, can we go back in? He's like, yeah, they're just clearing the smoke out now, but like everything's taken care of, so it's safe for you to go in. So I'm like, okay, cool. When I'm about to come back in, I see the the black guy who was like telling everybody to get out. And I was like, do they know like exactly what apartment it was? Is it the one where they were just, you know, standing on the balcony? He was like, yeah. And he told me the number and I was like, that's directly across from me. He was like, yeah, because right after I told you to leave, I was about to turn around because, you know, I knocked on the door and nobody was answering that door. And he was like, something told me to just like, tried to open the door so he used his key went in there well tried to go in there the guy had a, a um chain on the door so he said he kicked the door in goes in there it's chicken they're burned and the man who lived there is in there asleep like knocked out how first of all how you fall asleep making chicken that's number one number two how do you sleep through all of that we can all smell it everybody on the floor can smell it and you in there with it and you can't smell it to the point where it wakes you up. Like, that's crazy to me. So basically, I'm a superhero and I saved a life. So, yeah, that's my good deed for today. Okay, 
Let's talk about like content creator stuff. I've been trying to get more into TikTok. As y'all know, I'm like really straying away from Instagram at this point. I've been a little like uninterested in Instagram for a while now. Just because like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But I know I'm not the only one who feels this way because I've heard a lot of people say this. But Instagram just gives off like, there's like this pressure on Instagram to be perfect for some reason. And like, I know nobody's perfect, but for some reason, I just feel like I got to overthink things when I'm posting on Instagram. On Twitter, people say what they want. On TikTok, people post what they want. You don't got to be cute. You can post something in a bonnet and go viral. Like, it's just, it's so much less pressure on TikTok. And one thing I'm really trying to <clears throat> do is like really show my personality on there. Because I was just telling someone, like, I don't want to be, actually, I just saw, I was just telling someone this, but I also saw another girl say this on YouTube. Like, I don't want to be known for just, like, a pretty face or, like, what I'm wearing or whatever. Like, I want to actually talk more on social media, and that's how I feel. Like, I want to be known for what I have to say, my values what I contribute to the community and you know like because I'm more than just my face yeah so I'm trying to like show more of my personality on TikTok and I feel like I show my personality on Instagram but it's more so like through stories and just the stuff that I repost but as far as me like really posting my own content and showing my personality through that I don't feel like I do that that often so YouTube is a good way for me to do that, but I want to get more into that on like other social platforms. So TikTok is like the perfect place for me to do that. And one thing I've been like struggling with though is like, I don't feel like I have to have a niche. I've kind of grown out of that. Like I don't feel like I need to only post makeup videos or only post like mom content or only post lash videos. Like I don't feel like I have to be put in a box, but I am struggling with the whole like aesthetic. Thing. like I be feeling like do all of my posts need to have the same type of like vibe when you first go to my page on TikTok like do all the titles have to look the same do I have to edit everything the same like do I have to use cap cut for everything and do those like really choppy type of edits or can I just post like a regular video of me talking can I do both and I be struggling with it like sometimes I be feeling like I can't do both and I feel like I have to stick to one thing, like do those aesthetically pleasing videos and that's it. But like, I like those and I also like the regular videos on TikTok where the girls are literally just like talking and that's it. Or just sitting here doing their makeup, talking about something or just doing their makeup, not saying anything. Like there are a lot of different types of content that I like on TikTok and I just be struggling with like, what do I want to give? Like, what do I want to bring to the platform? And it's hard when like a lot of the people that you like and admire on these social platforms, like, and even YouTube, it's hard when all the people that you admire have this aesthetic about them. And it makes you feel like you kind of have to have that in order for people to like you and, you know, in order for you to do well on these platforms. But that's not necessarily true. So I'm just trying to remind myself that like, I need to just give myself grace and really just be authentic and be my true authentic self. Like when I look at all the people that I follow, and this is what I did last night, like I was going through the people that I follow on TikTok and just seeing like, what do these people have in common? How are they different? And everybody brings something different to the table. Because like I said, there are some girls who post the aesthetically pleasing content, like stuff that just looks nice when you're just looking at it. And then there are some girls who post videos where they're like giving tips while they're doing their makeup. And you know, it's there's different kinds of content. Like I like different types of content. And because I like all those things, I feel like that's my personality and I can give that to y'all like I should be able to do a mixture of all that and not have to just stick to one thing because I'm a multifaceted person like 
I'm a very, I'm a very simple person, but I feel like I have a lot of layers to me and I like a lot of different things. And I'm the type of person who wants to do what she wants to do when she wants to do it. Like if one day I feel like being girly and wearing heels and doing my makeup, I can be that. And then the next day, if I want to just wear sweats and look like a little boy, I can do that too. And I'm comfortable in both lanes. So I want to be able to give content that shows, you know, every side of me. I have that side of me who loves aesthetically pleasing things. And then I have the side of me who is just like, you know what, this is simple to the point, And this is what I want to give. So trying to figure out how to do that unapologetically on social platforms. Because like I said, not even just TikTok, but like here too. It's very easy to get sucked into what everybody else is doing and to feel like if I want to get somewhere, I need to do it like this person. I'm really just trying to be my true authentic self because I know for a fact that like, although I might not be where I want to be right now, being my true authentic self is the only thing that's going to get me where I want to be. And it's the only thing that's going to keep me where I want to be. Well, not even keep me there, but like allow me to, you know, go up the ladder. Y'all, cream contour might just be my thing because the way this really just... <sighs> Snatches your girl. I love it. That's where I'm at with the whole content thing. And I'm loving, I'm loving TikTok so far. I'm really trying not to overthink it. I was just watching Shayna's vlog. I think it's her most recent vlog where she was talking about um like not overthinking content. Cause sis really I think she said she went from 14k followers on tiktok to 40k in 12 days from just posting consistently she's been doing like um get dressed with me videos every day and in her vlog she was talking about how like she literally has to tell herself to like not overthink or she won't put the content out so that's what i'm trying to do like really trying to just get the content out not think too hard whatever i want to post in that moment is what i'm posting so like last night was that last night yeah last night i posted my nighttime skincare routine that i recorded the other day and when i recorded that i knew that i wanted it to have that like choppy cap cut type of edit vibe so that's what i did and that's what i posted last night and then this morning i posted a video of me just sitting talking about dating men with kids like because that's how i felt in the moment so Really just try not to overthink it and not think about like, what do people want? But really just like, what is on my mind right now? How do I feel right now? What part of me can I give to people right now? Like I don't wanna do all fashion content. I don't wanna do all makeup content. I don't wanna do all like motivational speaking and talking about relationships. I don't wanna be put in a box. I want to do what I wanna do when I want to do it. If y'all have not seen my most recent makeup video where I'm reviewing the Makeup by Mario foundation and the Too Faced Born This Way concealer, please go watch that because that's where you will see what I'm doing right now. Like an in-depth tutorial of what I'm doing right now. But yeah, I'm really ready for life to turn around for me because if nobody else is going to say it, I'm going to say it. I deserve it, for real. Your girl been going through hell for I don't know how long. And granted, life isn't that bad. Like, it's really not as bad as it could be. But I'm not used to life being like this. Like, I'm not used to stuff just being this hard. And that's because, like, I've been an entrepreneur for my whole adult life so far. Because I'm 26, if y'all didn't know. And the last time I had a real job where I got like pay stubs was probably when I was a sophomore in high, no, probably when I was a sophomore in college. I think my last job was Walmart. And after that, I was working for a hairstylist. So like I wasn't getting like a check every week. 
for every two weeks. Like, it wasn't that type of job. I still kind of look at that like I was, because I was in the beauty field, I was, like, I was still kind of look at that like I was an uh, entrepreneur. I was on the road to being an entrepreneur, but, like, I wasn't working a regular job. So, I've never had a full-time regular job, ever. Because even when I was at Walmart, like, that was part-time. So, I've explained this before, but I'm explaining it again, just in case y'all didn't see that video. Because I don't even know what video that was. But, when I became an entrepreneur, I didn't have any responsibilities. I was a college student. Like, I didn't have any bills. And then when I did have bills, like when I finally got some, it was like my phone bill, my car payment, my booth rent. Like it wasn't that much. So, and then by that point, I already had consistent clientele. So like I was good. I didn't really have to worry about like, oh, am I going to have enough to pay my bills? I didn't have to worry about that because I didn't have that many bills. And like I said, con clientele was consistent at that point. So... It's like the period that everybody goes through when they first become an entrepreneur is the period that I'm going through right now, six years in, which is crazy. Like, it's it's crazy to me. Like, I don't understand how this happened, but I mean, I know how it happened. It's a lack of planning, kind of just winging it. But this is why I tell people, like, it's good when you go through that in the beginning. Like, when you go through that slow period in the beginning, like when you first become an entrepreneur, you learn a lot of lessons that will help you when like stuff is just like rolling and going and going and going. Like when you have consistent clientele, when you have consistent money coming in, you're going to be set because you already learned all the lessons that you had to learn before you got all that. So it's like now, granted, things are not slow for me, but like I'm learning a lot of lessons that I should have learned a long time ago. And the problem is when I became an entrepreneur, since I didn't have any responsibilities, I was just winging it. Like, I was always good with saving money. I was always good with, like, managing my money. That was never an issue for me because my dad instilled that in me, like, at a very young age. So, I was good with that. But there's more to it than just saving and, and knowing how to manage it. Like, there's way more to it than that. It's a little more complicated than that. So, I was, I was winging it. Doing whatever. I didn't really have a plan. Like... I just felt like I was doing lashes, getting my money, stashing my money, spending my money, and that was it. Like, I didn't have no type of plan. And maybe one day I'll like go in depth about that. Because I didn't learn those lessons back then and I have to learn them now, it just seems so much harder because I have so much more to manage. Like, I had way more bills than I ever had before. I have a son who is dependent on me and his father and like there's just there's a lot more at stake at this point and I just have so much on my plate and like at first it's like I was doing I was doing lashes and you know running my business and just doing it but now it's like I'm doing it to survive I wasn't doing it to survive at first because like I said no responsibilities there's a difference when you're doing something and you have to live off of it literally so it's just crazy it's crazy how you can you can really go through things early in life or you can go through it late. And I will always recommend that people learn their lessons early instead of late. My hair is just doing whatever it wants right now. I know this vlog is kind of like all over the place, but I mean, there's a common theme here. You know, the theme is getting our stuff together. So for now, I'm just going to play some music and finish my makeup. That's the end of my TED Talk. Yeah. First of all, I'm so busy talking to y'all. I forgot that I was supposed to be doing like a little transformation TikTok. I forgot to record a freaking beginning of the day on TikTok.
It's the transition for me. <sighs> okay, I am all ready. I don't know what video I'm about to record, but yeah, I'm about to record something. But I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. And um, like I said, I didn't start editing it yet, but I'm pretty sure this is about to be long. So hopefully y'all made it to the end. Yeah. So if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. The girl would appreciate it. And I will see y'all in the next vlog. If you're going through a time like me, just hang in there. We're all just struggling. There's hair on my lip. And just keep pushing through because we having a time. We having a time right now. Life is lifing for a lot of us. And just keep pushing through. So I hope this was motivation for y'all. And like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see y'all in the next one.